Okay, so one week of Inktober has been and gone. Um, what I can say about this week is at first I was really on top of it and then the more uni work I started to get, the less on top of it I became. I was I was having to come home every night and really late at night get something done, but I have got it all done. Um, and yeah, seven days, uh, which including the first video which I uploaded on the first um, I have, I'll show you all of those so there's just a bit of footage from each one I did film predominantly all of each one but instead of showing you all of it I thought I'd just show you snippets so this next week I think I'm going to cut down the filming to save a bit of time um, but anyway yeah this first one um, which is day two was a, a lot of stippling a lot of perspective and things like that it did take me a long time it was something different I was just trying it out really um, but I think next time I'll, I will try and darken the foreground and lighten the background so I need to work with my different um, sized pens and work on that to try and get a different sizes on there um, but yeah. Uh, yeah I think it turned out quite nicely um, day two I used the prompts for day two, and for some reason the prompt for, I mean just for day three, sorry, the prompt for day three was c collect, and for some reason in my brain collect became delivery. <laughs> so I drew a delivery bike, like a pizza bike. Um, I don't have any footage of that unfortunately, but um, yeah, I think I lost the video for that. but. Yeah, so I did that, and then day four, which this should skip to now. Um, day four, I was watching some Steven Universe, so I thought I'd do some Steven Universe art mixed with a prompt, and the prompt was hungry. So I drew Lion from Steven Universe kind of drooling uh, over a piece of meat. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. It's actually my first proper piece of fan art <laughs> um, and I actually really enjoyed doing it it's quite cute um, and I liked how simple it turned out and I just used my pencil brush pen um, for this one uh, I'm quite I like the pencil brush pen so I've been using that quite a lot actually same for the the pizza uh, one yes uh, I've also been using a Faber Castell pit pen um, and what was the other thing Oh, um, Stedler uh, pens as well. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so again, I missed the day five footage, but that was of a wren, which I'll flick through at the end, um, which I really liked. I did that with my pit pen again. And then day six, which you're seeing here, I drew a pumpkin, a bit of Halloween y theme since it is Halloween month. And I used my Liquitex uh, acrylic inks in bright gold and uh, rich copper, um, and I just painted those on. And they are inks, so that's technically allowed, I think. Anyway, um, and I'm really obsessed with these inks. I've had them for a while now, but I haven't really played around with them much. So this has really opened my eyes to what I could do with them because they really I like them. I don't know why this is blurred. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, I'll show you at the end how bright they are. Um, and then day seven, I went to the Forest of Light in Bradford, and so I just did something simple. It's not great, it's just kind of signifying it. So I used my Copic, a Copic ink pen just to blacken the background, and then I did the Liquitex inks over the top just to create like these kind of like lights and stuff. Um, and like I say, it's not supposed to be perfect, it's just supposed to be you know, representative of my trip to the Forest of Light, um, and if you don't know what that is, you can always search it. So just search Forest of Light um, Bradford and you can probably see what it looked like. So yeah, that's my first week of Inktober, and here is just me flicking through and I'll let you watch the rest of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll upload week two in on next Saturday, so thank you for watching.
happy 1st of October, i.e. Inktober this month. Um, I thought I would join in in this year's Inktober um, just because I was watching Jake Parker, the um, guy who you know came up with this whole 